So what's the dysfunction in government about? Well, for one thing, it's called polarization of the parties. That's just not accurate. I mean, what's ha think about what's happened in the United States. Now, you go back about 50 years, and the United States was described not, not incorrectly as a one-party state, the business party, with two factions called Democrats and Republicans. And that was pretty accurate. But something changed. And no time to talk about it, but in the last roughly generation, 30, 35 years, there's been a significant change in the economy, and it's led to a change in the political organizations. We're still a one-party state, the business party. We still have two factions, but they're not Democrats and Republicans. The one faction is moderate Republicans, who are called Democrats. So the Democrats today are pretty much the moderate Republicans of a generation ago. You know, people say the moderate Republicans have disappeared. No, they haven't. They've just become Democrats. And the other faction was, as the two parties drifted to the right, uh, the Republicans just went off the edge. They became the party of the very rich in the corporate sector. Well, you can't get votes that way. So they were compelled to turn to the sec kinds of sectors of the population that I was describing before, which were always there, but were not mobilized as a political force. You know, the people terrified that somebody's coming after them, the religious extremists, the people who hate science, because what do those guys know, and so on and so forth. That, those are the sectors of the, that's the base of the Republican Party. And we've now, and that's the second faction. The, if you look at the business pages now, the corporate sector is very concerned that they can't control their base. They can no longer control them. These guys don't care if they destroy the economy. Who cares? You know, we can win the Civil War, you know, God will help us, whatever it is. They just don't care. And it's a, it's a very unusual situation. But the, that's, the, that's the rough political system in the United States. There's some counterparts. It's kind of similar to something that happened in late Weimar Germany when the German industrialists thought that they could use the Nazis as a battering ram against labor and the left and they figured then they could control them. Turned out they couldn't. They couldn't control them and you know what happened. Uh, this is not Weimar Germany but there's a striking similarity and that's the dysfunction. That's what's happening in Washington. That's why the world, that's why the World Bank and the IMF are pleading with the United States to try to act like a civilized society. You know, because we may bring down the global economy with these two factions. That's a serious problem. Florida's right in the middle of it. So you guys see it all around you. Yeah.